For the first time, a source from inside the San Onofrio power plant is speaking out, warning that restarting the San Diego County power plant is too dangerous. Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker talked to this man and to another expert. Both are sounding the alarm. There is something grossly wrong. This anonymous inside source from San Onofre came forward to tell Team 10 he is worried about the nuclear power plant restarting. He is not alone. To understand the concerns, we have to take you inside the concrete containment walls, which house steam generators unique to the plant. Japanese manufacturer Mitsubishi Heavy Industries built replacement generators for the aging nuclear plant in 2010 and 2011. The new generators were designed to provide low-cost power for decades. Instead, they shut it down in just 11 months because of a radiation leak. The manufacturer, I believe, does not have an experience uh, with this size of a unit. Dr. Joe Hoppenfeld spent his entire professional life working with steam generators and nuclear power. Though he lives in Maryland, he is familiar with San Onofre, which is run by Southern California Edison. Hoppenfeld used to work for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He says the 2011 radiation leak that shut down the plant revealed a potentially catastrophic problem with the tubes that carry scalding water. As far as I'm concerned, I believe it's a very serious risk. Tubes carry water to and from the reactor core. This creates steam, which turns the turbines and produces energy. The tubes operate under very high internal pressure. There is no protection provided between the tubes, from tubes in the rows hitting each other. Our sources say the redesign of the Mitsubishi generators had unintended consequences. Tubes began hitting each other, creating cracks. These tubes were hitting each other, and that's dangerous. This safety engineer worked at San Onofre. He has 25 years experience in the nuclear field. He wants to remain anonymous because he told Team 10 he fears for his safety. When they made these changes, they did not look at the academic research. Dr. Hoppenfeld and our inside source say the tube's movement, banging into each other, led to unprecedented tube failures. Out of 19,400 tubes, the NRC found more than 17% were damaged. Hoppenfeld says the worst case scenario is a main steam line break, which he says could be caused by tubes cracking, the tube walls thinning, or metal fatigue. Our song's insider and Hoppenfeld say if there is a steam line break, there is potential for the reactor core to overheat, which could mean a full or partial meltdown. Many tubes, and I don't know how many, uh, have exhausted their fatigue life. They don't have any fatigue li life left. SoCal Edison proposed a solution to only operate Unit 2 at 70% power. Both Team 10 sources say that may reduce risk, but is no guarantee of safety. I don't think to scare anybody. Uh, you can live there, but you should know what the risk is. Both believe no one can predict what will happen. If an accident like this were to happen, San Onofre's emergency plan is not geared to handle it, and it could cause a public disaster. Now, SoCal Edison maintains the plant is safe to restart. They declined an on-camera interview, but sent us a brief statement that reads in part, while Dr. Hoppenfeld has an extensive resume, his songs analysis is significantly flawed, reflecting his lack of specific expertise in tube vibration analysis provided by three experts that performed SCE's analysis. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries also sent us a statement. It reads in part, the design went through an extensive review process which included the participation of third-party experts and MHI believed they would operate as expected safely and successfully. No safety measures were sacrificed in the design. And of course, if you want to see those full statements, we've got them up on our website, 10 newscom Big question, still waiting to hear from the NRC, so when right. can we expect that? We expect that in the, in the next month, but it really could happen at any time. And of course, we'll keep watching it, keep watching uh, these safety issues and, and keep reporting on them. All right, stay on it, Mitch. Thank Thanks, you. Mitch.